Sirach chapter 37, verse 19. There is one that is wise and teach many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakai Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into information versus wisdom. Okay? And you have to know the difference between that. Information versus true wisdom. Okay? Because a lot of guys, when they first get in this truth, it's about an information war. You know, you're trying to see who knows the most information versus who uses wisdom with that information. Okay? That's two different things. So let's read it again. There is one that is wise and teach many and yet is unprofitable to himself. So beware. There's guys that's teaching many people, man, many Israelites around the world right now as you speak, right? But they are unprofitable to themselves because they're not using wisdom. They may know a lot of things, but they don't know what they ought to know. And you ought to know that you're supposed to manifest these things you learn, the things you speak into reality in your life. But if you're not doing that, man, if you're not doing that, then you are unprofitable, man, which makes you an unprofitable servant. Okay, so let's get into it. From there, let's go to Proverbs chapter 4, starting at verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Get wisdom, get understanding, man. It's easy to repeat things over and over again without doing them. Okay, you sound good. And maybe the ones that are listening to you, maybe they are applying it. But that guy is not applying it, man. Okay, teaching many, but he is unprofitable to himself because he does not understand information versus wisdom. Okay. He wants to sound the smartest. He wants to be the smartest, but he's not the wisest. It's all an act and a show. Okay, because in this everyday life, that wisdom that he claimed to have, he's not pushing it forth. He's not using it with action. Okay, that's called lip service. Just like the church in the world, lip service. Okay, verse six, forsake her not and she shall preserve thee. Talking about wisdom. Love her and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. And a lot of guys do not understand this, man. Okay? They don't understand, man. Because they're so busy trying to measure themselves against another man versus just using wisdom. Okay? It's about who can scream the loudest, who can, you know, repeat more things. This truth is deep, man. That's why you got to get understanding with all thy getting, man, to understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay. Verse eight, exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Okay. You exalting wisdom, man. All right. With your actions, not just repeating it, but your actions, man. Brothers, see your good works. They see it. They see the faith plus they see the works. Verse nine. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Right, man. Rulership. Immortality. Okay. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Wisdom is going to get you there. Not just information. Being able to repeat, repeat, repeat. That is not going to get you there. Okay. Understand that. Okay. From there, let's go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seems right unto a man. But the end of are the ways of death. Right, man. Just repeating information is ways of death. You know why? Because you took wisdom out of the equation. Okay? Wisdom is going to get you there, man. That's why King Solomon asked for wisdom. Because he understood that wisdom was going to get him there, man, where he need to be. Okay? Not just repeating things. Okay? For example, if King Solomon was about just repeating things and just about information, that's it. When he dealt with the situation with the two mothers, okay, that he wisely dealt with, he wouldn't have dealt with it that way, man. Why? Because he would have been in the mind frame of just repeating things. But King Solomon was about the action of wisdom, applying it, and he applied it in that story, man. 
and found out who the real mother was. Okay? That's how we got to be in our everyday life. That's true growth. True growth. Okay? You can't fool your high about your shy. You can't fool the angels. You're only fooling yourself, man. All right? From there, let's go to James chapter 1, starting at verse 22. But be you doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Right, man. Doers of the word and not hearers only, man. Okay, you heard, you repeat it, but you're not doers. Okay? To the ones that so-called teach it, but guess what? You are unprofitable to yourself. Verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. <laughs> right. Fooling himself. Okay. Do not fool yourself. Understand the difference so you can get it right and understand where you're going, man. The light is wisdom and it shows you where you're going and directs your steps as the scriptures say. Okay. You have to lean on wisdom. All right. Verse 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Right, man. And you want to be blessed in your deeds, man. Okay. But you're not going to be blessed in your deed. Just focus on information. Okay. To the point where you forget to apply it. Years go by. You never really applied it. It was always just a repeating thing, man. And it lasted for years. Eventually, you're going to fade out because real life going to catch up to you. <laughs> and you're going to have to deal with things with wisdom. But if you're stuck in a hole of just information, you're just going to fall away. All right? So just a quick lesson, a real quick one, man, just to exhort you, Aki, man, to remember this, man. Remember what information is versus wisdom. Understand the difference, man. Do not get caught up and trying to measure yourself against another man. Okay? That's not wise. Okay? The battle of information. No, man. Just deal with wisdom and you will have all the information, but with wisdom. Okay? Not just info. The world has a lot of info, man. A lot of it. Okay? But the world does not have a lot of wisdom. The wisdom is given to the hopeful elect, right? So, with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Kudash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akimah that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.